So strategy is about making decisions. We're going to decide what activities we are going to do, what activities differentiate us and allow us to actually uh, compete on a different dimension. We're going to compete by ourselves because we're going to take on a unique and valuable position. The attribution framework is a great tool to get clear on what your differentiating actions are going to be. It gives you a view into the market of where the white space exists and what you can take advantage of. You must know your core customer and we must be able to see what other competitors are doing in the industry. If you haven't done the attribution framework, I strongly suggest you go and take you know, a look at this tool on shannonsusco.com and work through it. Because to come up with your differentiating actions, you're gonna look at the key characteristics of the marketplace. In the graph you're looking at, the green line is my company. And we have decided to actually be really, really good at a few things. So setup of our customers, offer multi-currency, be able to map to any processor worldwide, 24 seven service, as well as having a reseller program. These were the five things that we decided to differentiate on. So with that, what are the activities that we're actually gonna deliver that into the marketplace so we can take advantage of that white space? So the key differentiating actions for our organization was number one, to map any data, map any processor in the world and to be able to do it really, really quickly. At the time it was six to nine months to map a new processor. We could do it in less than three months. To set up our customers, our merchants who wanted to process payment transactions, we did it in less than an hour. And that aligned with, you know, others in the market, you know, some could do it that well, but the way we did it with all the, you know, together with mapping any data and the processors was really key. The 24 seven answer the phone service came from a time when we didn't have a phone system and we did answer the phone and everyone loved it. When you're dealing with someone's critical path to cash of payment processing, you got to answer the phone. And we had to find a way that our customers still felt like we answered the phone, but our goal was to ensure the phone didn't ring our service would be that good. We wanted to support any currency so we could grow globally. All the payment processors and our competitors to date only processed one currency. And the last thing that we did is we decided that we'd have a white label reseller program, meaning that banks in any country who wanted to use our payment processing service could brand it. And we would answer the phone as that bank. Sounded crazy when we were four people, but it actually came true with our first banking white label customer. Now, any one of these things, we could compete with others on directly, but all five together, all these actions we decided together are the ones that differentiated us. Now, I want you to think about what are those activities that your company needs to put together, three to five, that actually put you in a unique and valuable position. Once you do that, you know, draw it on a wall, put it up, connect the dots. Now I'm going to show you an example of Southwest Airlines. This looks pretty busy, quite honestly. The big blue circles are their three to five differentiating actions. If you've ever flown Southwest, lots and lots of Americans have, and, and even myself flying around, you know, short hop stops in the U.S., definitely have flown Southwest. There's some really key things that they differentiated on and their core customer, they focused in. They, they're not for everyone. They're not for the sleight of heart. They're not for everyone. You've got to line up to get on the plane. They don't charge for a baggage. They have uh, all the planes in the old days were the exact same type of plane. And those green circles are the supporting actions to the big differentiating actions that made them so successful in a very unprofitable industry. Think about that. The airline industry is probably the most unprofitable industry in the world. And Southwest came in, got very, very focused on their differentiating actions and their supporting actions and how they all related to one another. This is the key to their success. 
they were very, very specific on what they decided to do and what they didn't do. Another one I'm going to show you as an example is IKEA. Now IKEA has a you know, very targeted core customer, right? One that wants value, one that loves putting furniture together. It's not me. Um, and again, they have four differentiating actions. Those are the red circles. And each one of those are key to ensuring that they stay focused on what matters to their core customer. The green circles are their supporting actions. This is important that number one step you take on is come up with your three to five differentiating actions. And then, you know, think about what are the steps you take around each one of those actions to ensure that we deliver what matters to the core customer at a profit. So this is as simple as taking a blank piece of paper. You can download the tool off my site, shannonsusco.com, but it's as simple as taking a blank piece of paper, drawing five circles, no more than five, actually no less than three, and come up with, from, after looking and studying your attribution framework, having a good discussion with your team, you're probably already doing some of these actions that you want to be differentiated on, and then there's probably a couple other key ones that you need to write down and really talk about and discuss. And you'll be doing certain things today. And then again, we want to look three years out and saying, what are our differentiating actions going to be? What are our capabilities going to be?